Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. Welcome to Elastic Channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Of course, the question is how we can secure our home internet from malicious attack or how we can configure a wireless router, whatever device that you have at home with a slightly more secure ways. Guys, there are a lot of logic behind that. What if we talk about the logic and then we're going to configure this wireless router together okay if that sound is interesting what are you waiting for let's go let's dive into which kind of logic we have behind wireless router wireless access point firewall router and so on and how we can keep those kind of attack from our home internet so logic number one is I just reset factory default my wireless router as you notice in here if I type uh, IP config you just need to go to run and type CMD and after that you can type IP config one word you can see that there is a specific range of IP in here if you can see here is a specific IP which is run in here as you look at in here there is a specific range of ip which ran in my computer so this ip come from the wireless router that i have at home right now i reset factory default there is an icon for factory default one port is for one which is for internet and the other four port is for LAN, which is a stand for local area network. This is four port, don't worry about that. It's, it's just one, two, three, four, five, but this, it's supposed to be four port. So my computer is right now connect to one of this port. So the question is which port? The answer is to this port. This is called one wide area network and this is called LAN local area network. This is the local area network. So as you look at in here, my computer IP address is 192.168.1.100. What have 114? Correct. So what we notice that if anyone want to connect if anyone want to connect their computer if anyone want to connect their computer in here just give me one second this is my guest laptop this guy come to my house and trying to access the internet they say oh, I don't want to use Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is not stable give me a wire connection if I give him a wire access this guy will able to access the internet is it secure the answer is of course no why because of DHCP I want to talk about the DHCP just give me one second don't panic DHCP if you guys technical you know what I'm saying if you're not that's fine I'm explain with quite big details DHCP is stand for dynamic host configuration protocol what the DHCP server do is assign automatic IP to each devices to each devices what did we learn so far is that there is a problem with the problem number one is DHCP DHCP right because I don't want everyone or anyone want to access my internet and this device since this device is wireless router or let's say so since this device is wireless router if anyone want to access using my internet they are able to access the internet the answer is why because this is DHCP the server the DCP server will assign IP to this computer and this guy is happy and this guy is good to go to access the internet the same thing with the wire if you notice in here this guy is also able to access the internet problem number one is DHCP 
D H it should be H. Give me one second. D H C P. I will come up with the solution as well. No worry. D H C P. Problem number one is D H C P. Dynamic host configuration protocol. We have to have a full control of our dynamic host configuration protocol to make sure to make sure that our internet is very secure and there is no suspicious activity in our network. Problem number two is guess what? The problem number two is the range of IP. Look at in here. The range of IP is 192.168 to 1 dot something. Problem number two is the range of IP. So which range they are using? It is 192. I want to I want to explain with more details. 192 dot 168 dot 1 dot 0 slash 24 if you guys doesn't know what is slash 24 don't worry but just if you're technical you know what i'm saying guys it has been almost 15 years that i work in information communication technology almost 95 percent of device when you purchase it does come with this range of ip with which range of ip with 192.168 one dot something if the hacker let me find the red color because hacker is supposed to be red color if a hacker turn on his computer which is maybe he's in the car maybe he's in our neighbors and our neighbors are also nice and the guest and their guest is not nice we have a portable wireless modem guys if you remember we have a portable like usb we have a portable i do have one of the portable uh, usb or pen drive wireless wireless modem if this guy's run its wireless modem into monitoring mode what he gonna do he would say that okay it should be 192.168.192.168 dot something dot something dot something it should be the same range right he has guess that those who are doing this kind of activity they are smart enough they are technical as well believe me that's why we have to be a step ahead of them right we have to be a step ahead of them keep in your mind once this guy is assigned manually ip to his computer he's trying to find out if he capture and find my what my wireless what my wireless ip address so what is the solution the solution is i have to cross this one and run my own ip address this guy is thinking like mm, it is not 182.168.1. one dot something because i'm not able to ping i'm not able to connect i'm not able to do anything because they may probably change the ip so challenge number one for them is they don't know what is our ip unless those are our guests my friend remember that if our guest is trying to capture and get the information from the cyber security standpoint most of the hacker is trying to do as the first step is information gathering he's trying to gather the information so we don't want our local area network which is our home internet to be poisoned to be attacked by denial of services dynamic denial of services or distributed denial of services we want to stop those things and there's a there's a tools and there's a way where we can capture and find those people as well all right what we learn is the problem number two is the default IP, the default, the IP, default IP. What we're going to do is we have to wipe the default IP. What we're going to do, we're going to stop the default IP. I'll say, hey, I'm not using this range of IP. So the reality check is that now I reset my wireless router ip config if i type ip config you can see it's 182.168 dot something and the hackers most of the technical folks even they don't even if they are not hackers they know this is 182.168 dot something 
If a person has spent more than one year of his life in IT department, they know it should be 192.168.1.1. If I want to ping 192.168.1.1, I am able to ping means I am able to access the wireless router, whether it's a firewall, whether it's uh, just let's see wireless access point or firewall or router or wireless controller or so on so we found that problem number two is the ip which ip the default ip the default ip this is problem number two default ip this is problem number two. Guys, I want to give you one IQ test right here. And guess what is the another vulnerable ways that the hacker can do in order to destroy, in order to distract, in order to get your internet or get access to your home devices. So pause the video and share with me what that could be if some of you find which is great if it is not i'm going to disclose right now reset button if you look at in here go ahead and the device that you have at home look behind that device there is a one small tiny let's say portion where you can use a push pen or pen and hold it for 15 seconds the device will reset factory default the same as I have done with this wireless router so you would say hmm that makes sense if I reset to factory default am I able to access the internet the answer is of course the answer is of course let's do another experiment turn on your turn on your phone and go to Wi-Fi portion and search for Wi-Fi see how many dealing tp link lenses or some product name by ssid by what by ssid so let's say this is your phone when you start searching for the internet or wi-fi you would see a diversity of ssid that is called ssid and it's a standard service set id SSID, which is D-Link, TP-Link. The hacker will say, oh, this guy is lazy enough or this guy is not technical person. At least he should change the name of the SSID to something else. Let's say probably you will, you will notice some people say that 20, let's say second floor. The name is second floor is also another like this is not in first floor. This is the second floor. This is not a good SSID as well. But you will be an, a witness of this kind of SSID as well when you search using your phone. So they said, okay, if he's not able to change the SSID, he may not able to change the default password of that SSID as well. Let me give you one, 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 another experiment. Let's say you have a TP-Link switch. Let's say you have a TP-Link router. Let's say you have a Sus-Link sus or any kind of wireless, con wireless router that you have. Search. So what is the default? What is the default SSID and what is the default password for this specific product that I have at home? <laughs> For God's sake, you can find a hundred documentation that can easily share which kind of password is that. Which kind of password is that? Is it clear? So we found that problem number three is the reset button. So the solution is you have to make sure reset, reset. I can say button or the portion. This is problem number two. This is called the physical security. You have to make sure that the wireless router that you have, the wireless modem that you have, the wireless access point that you have, it must be secure. 
because of someone reset it the question as well they may not able to access the internet they will able to access the internet if i connect my wireless let's say my wireless modem right now connect to internet i can easily access the internet see i reset factory default because this device is point to play so they make for the non-tactical uh, let's say customers to just plug and play just plug and play plug to the wild jack or plug to the internet and you should able to access the internet so the problem number three is physical you have to make sure to keep your wireless router devices in very very proper spot as well all right so these are the problem and the other one the other one reality check right in front of you guys right in front of you guys allow me to type 192.168.1.1 so as you look at in here this is my gateway and the hackers know that if it is 192.168.1. something then the gateway should be 192.168.1.1 because i said 95 percent of the devices coming with the this range of ip and they are typing so let's say pretend that for one minute i'm a hacker so what i found that i found that oh this guy is using this kind of the product this guy is using lenses lenses smart wi-fi setup or lenses smart what is the default username and password of the lenses remember that have read let me say next give a minute this is the reality check this is what this is the reality check let me hide the scenario for a minute i want to share with you guys some stuff login access router i will type admin a capital there is a slower case this is not the case admin what i found in here wasn't it scary it was a scary problem number for as the default username and password for management when you want to manage this access point problem number four is the default let's say the default username and password so this is number one number two number three and number four is the default let me find out where is my pen the default username slash password remember that Isn't it scary? I know it's scary, right? It is very scary. All right, in order to avoid these things, what we're gonna do is we have to change the password. The first thing, I told you just pretend that I'm a hacker and I know what is the, the default username and password for this device. The question is what are, what they're gonna gain? What they gonna gain? allow me to connect one of my phone to this access point so what he gonna do is he will come all the way to so he has the access here once this guy is coming here they said oh this is this ssid for 2.4 gigahertz mm -hmm. and the good thing is so here is the password let me type the password as well little quick H B A N W K is all lowercase. It is easy for hacker. All 
all right i just connect my phone to this device let's cancel right let's cancel device list what you can see in here guys you can see that there is one two three devices one two three devices click on this one this guy found my phone mac address which phone i'm using you would say oh <laughs> yeah you're right he may not able to access he may not he may not able to know which kind of what which kind of phone i'm using or what is that if i copy this mac address guys remember that if i copy this mac address copy and go to browser and search mac address by vendor which mac address is this what would you find you would find that this is smartphone android phone iphone htc nokia company the phone that you're using <laughs> nokia company so this is how they can find you easily easy peasy easy peasy so we have to change the default username and password we have to change we have to make sure to have the full access of dcp the first the second is the default ip the second is, is to make sure that their router is in a very proper a spot where there is a very less chance for people to reset the button and the last one is the default username and password there are some other things when we start configuring this router let's say which kind of password we need to assign and how we can control those things as well let's go and configure this wireless access point one by one or this wireless router in very secure ways let me wipe this one let's go connectivity let's see what we have in here the first thing as you notice in here is the connectivity what i'm going to do is i would say now I want to change this one I want to change this one whether you believe it or not let's say let's say let's say D X M O M O X if a hacker is let's say if a hacker is trying to find this SSID I want to make him challenge like dxmox is like which kind of dxmox is that we don't have to name it like it's as my computer name i'm in the second floor this is man cage this is my kitchen this is my you know this is my lobby or and so on i'm going to avoid those things like oh this this is the room oh this is the dining room this is the living room this and this and that hide those things i want to change this one to very basic ip but just keep in your mind I would say A, B, it should be A, B, C at 1, 2, 3, 4. And then for 5 gigahertz, I will keep uh, D, X, M, O, X. Then I would type 5. Even I didn't want to put G as well. They will say, oh, it's a 5G. Even there, get close to, they will get close to what? They will get close to that. Okay, it says 5, maybe it's a 5G. Maybe it's a 5G. I want to change the password as well. ABC. See, you don't have to type it. You don't have to. You don't have to what? You don't have to. You don't have to type ABC. ABC at one, two, three, four. So make it very challenge. So if I would do what I would say, like, let's say, um, I, L, then should be love my house let's say 995 this is very very challenge challenge password because numbers there uh lowercase uppercase and we have a specific characters as well there as well so this is very very challenge for the hacker to find out even though it's more than nine character it is more than 12 character some of the time when the hacker trying to capture your ssid ssid and password if they run their let's say their wi-fi modem 
to to monitoring mode they have a specific uh, let's say if you guys are familiar about the kali linux you can start let's say brute for uh, brute force attack what is brute force attack is a dictionary attack it's just trying to type the password randomly and there's an option like how many uh, uh, like how many characters do you expect i would say from one to nine i will say from one to ten one to twelve so one to twelve is one of the challenge because it's not easy to find out it's gonna take maybe one week in order to find a password maybe he's not able to find the password so the more character that you have the better it will be that's why don't go by abc at one two three because abc at one two three is already in the and their word list so i will i will put it in here to make it into natural but you don't have to do this okay so the option number uh i think the option number four or number four was that to change the default username and password of accessing this device what was the default username the current admin the password is let's say abc at one two three four abc at one two three four so by the time if you want to attack my if you want to attack my uh let's say wireless uh, router i'm not using it i will reset that factory default don't worry don't come close to my house my friend <laughs> apply yes yes your router is applying change okay So if I search for Linksys 00386 as a SSID, it is not there anymore. It is not what? It is not there anymore. Let me close here and come to device list. As you look at in here, this device is disconnect. The question is why? Because this device was in the wrong SSID and password. One of the good thing that we have done is to to secure that one as well what we have done we have recently change your username and password put the router in a very proper spot where it's a bit challenge for for the hackers to reset now what we're going to do we're going to change the default ip we don't want the default ip so in order to do that what we're going to do we're going to change the range of ip close this one come to connectivity so i'm not here to like uh, let's say uh, promote this product you can find in many places in many places how to change the dcp and so on internet setting so we have done this portion if you have updates so i don't want to go with these details of course time zone does matter internet setting if you look at in here internet setting is if the internet service provider provide a dhcp dhcp to your home internet which is a visual almost let's say 99 percent of the home internet is run by dcp because it's easy for internet service provider for the end user for the home owners or those who are trying to access the internet should be very easy to access i will keep it dhcp i know you would say oh this is another there is another there is another vulnerability there is another let's say <laughs> a threat of course if a hacker <laughs> this is very funny if a hacker remove your router and run its own router with the same ssid and same same password of your computer do you know if the router is not in the right spot they will run its own router so that's another thing keep in your mind all right we are coming to the local area network so in here i would say no i don't want to use this one first i don't want to use this name i would say this is windows windows 12. we're going to be a witness of windows 12 as well let me change the different IP.
All right, guys. All right. Let's see what's going to happen. So you may not able to access this router with the 192.168.1.1 anymore. Remember that. Now what we're going to do is we have to open another browser. 172.16.32.1. As you look at in here, IP is changed. So the IP is changed. ABC at 1234. There you go. We change the username. We change the password. We change the SSID. Do you want to save? Of course, no, because I am going to reset this one to factory default. What we learned so far is that we change our SSID. Just give me one second. We change the DCP range. We change the default IP. We place our router in a very good spot and we change the username and password. Okay, the last thing which is very important to, to share with all of you is allow me to connect my phone to this device. I want to connect my phone to this device. So what is the SSID? The SSID is DXMOX. Okay, the password is ABC at one two three four guys if you remember nowadays with the iphone if you uh, let's say if you leave your iphone open and if someone is get close to your phone and you can share the password as well with the other phone have you tried that one try that one with the two phone with the two iphone you can you can see that one as well so let's see the devices all right as you look at in here there is a one device okay i'm gonna uh, i will clean this one up later now it is online which one one of the devices online this device is online why because this is connected look at the look at the range of ip it is 172 16 32 dot something if you remember i told you that my guest Whoever want to access this access point, the first IP will be 25242243245. And the good thing is this is for 14 user, not more than that. Let's say nine IPs for my let's say my 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 smart TV, uh smart devices that I have at home, my iPad, my phone, and any other guests or any kids or anything at home, they will use that range of IP. And the rest will be for guest, right? So what I'm going to do is in here, when I see this one, I was like, mm, wait a minute. Let's go to edit. I don't want, let's say, if I name it, this is how we can name the device. This is my, it's my iPhone. Very clear, very clear. There's another way. iPhone. So now it is very clear for me. It is my iPhone. If I see any other devices, if I see any other devices, what I'm going to do, and there's a guest network as well. No worry, we haven't configured the guest. We didn't want to go with the, with the guest because our aim was how we can secure our home internet, right? I click on this one. I will take this Mac address. I was like, hey, wait a minute. This guy seems suspicious copy okay okay this is also okay mac filtering i love this one what is mac filtering mac filtering is a kind of things like hey this ip this mac address and my let's say my device is not so this is the mac address i didn't believe i didn't trust this guy so what I'm going to do is, let's say I, one of my neighbors asks, hey, do you mind to give me access to internet? I will give him access for five minutes or 10 minutes and over the night, what I'm going to do, I will come to here. So I have to search the devices. When I found the devices there, I can found his, uh, I found his device Mac address and name it and so on. I was in a list enable the Mac filtering, yes. So add the Mac address. 
Agamai, ah, the MAC address, filter. So filters allow or deny, deny, apply. Very easy, simple. Okay. Devices. All right. So what I'm going to do is this device, let me disconnect and connect again. Let me disconnect and connect again. Whether you believe it or not, guys, I am not able to connect to this device. I wish I was able to show you the screen as well. Unable to join to the network. Unable to join to the network. It's okay, it shows in here. If I refresh or if I sign out and sign in again, let's sign out and sign in again, reality check. It was an wireless and Mac filtering. I have done this one. Then if I come to devices, iPhone is offline. <laughs> Off iPhone is offline. All right, guys, I hope this was benefit for you. All right, I hope the information was very helpful. If you think it was very informative, the only way to appreciate my work is to simply subscribe and like the video. Until next time, I stay safe, be brave, and be curious. Take care, guys.